Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. It's Marty, Dad. Open up. Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. What are you talking about? What's the matter, Dad? Are you in trouble or something? This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone? Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Get Dave and Linda. They left town years ago, which you would know if you really were Marty. How can I convince you? Tell me something only Marty would know. Ah. The first time he kissed Mom it was at the enchantment under the sea dance. That's right. Oh, my Lord. What are you waiting for, George? Let him in. Stupid locks. Marty! Oh my god, Dad! What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp! Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, reasonably. Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro! I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds. Tell me. <laughs> How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Uh, uh, shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. I got a question. <laughs> Look, can we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Oof. Hey! And another thing. What are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash. But this month we can take it out of your hide. Here's what I still don't understand. Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. Ah! Oh! Here's what I still don't understand. What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us! Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had anyone of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Does all this have something to do with Kid Tannen? Pop? What about him? He was supposed to end up in jail. Jail? Pop's never spent a day in jail in his life. The Tannen gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? Ben, no! Bang! Ha ha! Check it out. Your family from mine. In gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. It's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Piece of cake. 
I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family! Marty, get in! This timeline's been compromised! No kidding! Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade! We've got to go back to the day Kid Tanner was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kit Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker? My girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen's speakeasy, find out what's going wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy, am I right? Uh, no. At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. <laughs> What in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Harry. Harry? Mr. Callahan, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Oh, water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ina and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Harry, you're just in time. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science. 
So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been... Uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like decades. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one-quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio-controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow flop. Einstein! No! Get him out of here! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. 